I poured yogurt in my garden. What happened next shocked me. So here's the thing. Soil's secret probiotic boost is finally revealed. If your plants look kind of dull, your soil smells dead and your harvests just aren't what they used to be. You might not actually have a fertilizer problem. You might have a gut problem, but not your gut, your soils. Because just like your digestive system, your soil really depends on healthy microbes to stay alive. And believe it or not, a spoonful of yogurt might just be the most powerful probiotic your garden has ever tasted. Stick around, because I'll show you exactly how I used yogurt to multiply microbes like crazy, with the right ratios, the right steps, and honestly, some pretty amazing results. Every teaspoon of healthy soil contains more living organisms than there are people on Earth. But chemical fertilizers, compacted beds, and constant tilling can destroy this delicate ecosystem. Think of it like wiping out your gut bacteria with antibiotics. Your stomach might look fine, but it just won't function properly. That's why probiotic farming is gaining momentum worldwide. It's all about restoring the soil's microbial life using natural cultures and yogurt, which is rich in lactobacillus and other beneficial bacteria, is honestly one of the easiest, cheapest, and most effective ways to do it. These tiny microbes do some incredible work. They break down organic matter, fix nitrogen, improve root uptake, and even suppress harmful fungi. When they thrive, your plants grow stronger, greener, and a whole lot more resilient. But when they die off, you're left with compacted, lifeless dirt. Basically the gardening equivalent of junk food. Yogurt contains lactic acid bacteria, or LAB for short, the same beneficial microbes used in compost teas and fermentation farming. LAB thrives in slightly acidic environments, helping decompose organic materials into plant-ready nutrients. Once you introduce these microbes into your soil, they get right to work breaking down leftover fertilizers, improving nutrient absorption, and releasing natural growth hormones. It's almost like giving your plants a personal digestive system that turns every bit of organic matter into usable food. But, you know, not all yogurt is created equal. Always use plain, unsweetened yogurt with live cultures. Anything flavored, colored, or containing sugar will actually feed the wrong bacteria and throw your soil ecosystem out of balance. What you want are active cultures, living microbes ready to colonize and rejuvenate your soil. Getting the mix right is honestly pretty critical. Too strong and you risk creating sour anaerobic soil. Too weak and your microbes just won't multiply effectively. Through a bunch of trials here at Soil and Crops Central, the sweet spot has proven to be, for liquid application, the kind you'll pour directly on soil, mix one part plain yogurt to three parts clean water. For example, for one liter of solution, use 250 milliliters of yogurt and 750 milliliters of water. Stir gently until it's evenly blended. This mix is perfect for small gardens, potted plants, and raised beds. For larger gardens, like a 100 square foot plot, just scale up the same ratio. You'll need roughly 1.5 cups of yogurt mixed into 4.5 cups of water for a monthly treatment. For every 500 square feet, use about 7 cups, that's around 3 pounds, of yogurt blended with 21 cups of water. If you're applying it as a compost accelerator, add 1 cup of yogurt for every 1 cubic foot of compost and turn the pile weekly to prevent odor buildup. Yogurt speeds up decomposition dramatically, sometimes cutting composting time in half. All right, so you'll want to start with clean containers and fresh yogurt. In a large bucket, mix your yogurt and water according to the ratio you need. Stir gently. You're not trying to whip it, just to activate those microbes and get them evenly distributed. Next, water your soil evenly with the yogurt mixture. It's best applied early in the morning or late in the evening to prevent sun damage to the microbes. For every 10 square feet of garden bed, pour roughly 2 cups of diluted yogurt mix, making sure it penetrates at least 2 inches into the soil. If you're dealing with extremely poor or compacted soil, repeat this every 2 weeks for 2 months. For already healthy soil, once every 6 to 8 weeks will maintain balance beautifully.
Always follow with a light watering using plain water. This helps move the probiotics deeper into the soil profile and prevents any sticky residue on the surface. For compost integration, pour your yogurt water blend over your compost pile, then mix it thoroughly. The live cultures will jumpstart microbial activity, heating the pile faster and producing richer humus. Within days, you'll notice a stronger earthy smell. That's the scent of life returning to your compost. Within a week or two, you'll notice small but powerful changes. The soil will start smelling fresh, almost like a forest floor. Plants will develop thicker stems, greener leaves, and more active root systems. Yogurt microbes help release locked nutrients like phosphorus and potassium, making them more accessible to plants. This microbial boost also helps fight soil-borne pathogens. Lactobacillus naturally competes with harmful fungi such as Fusarium and Pythium, which cause wilting and root rot. Essentially, you're filling your soil with good guys so there's no room left for the bad ones. Over time, your garden's water retention improves, organic matter breaks down faster, and even compacted soil begins to loosen naturally, all without chemical intervention. You're not just feeding plants, you're rebuilding an entire underground ecosystem. A little yogurt goes a long way. Overdoing it can make the soil overly acidic and limit oxygen flow. If you ever notice a sour smell or white film that doesn't look like healthy mold, simply pause the treatment and let your soil rebalance. Always avoid using expired, moldy, or flavored yogurts. These contain sugars and preservatives that encourage unwanted bacteria. And while the temptation to mix yogurt with every garden additive is strong, resist it. Let the microbes establish themselves first, before introducing other fertilizers or compost teas. Store any leftover yogurt mix in the refrigerator for no longer than 48 hours. After that, the microbes lose potency. For larger farming operations, you can eventually move from dairy yogurt to dedicated LAB culture, but yogurt remains the best and simplest starting point for home gardeners. The power of yogurt lies in its microbial diversity. These live cultures transform organic material into bioavailable nutrients, stimulating root growth, improving soil texture, and boosting natural plant immunity. When you think about it, you're not just feeding your plants, you're treating your soil like a living organism that needs balance, diversity, and nourishment. This is the essence of probiotic farming, restoring the living soil web that supports everything above ground. Once your soil regains its microbial vitality, even crops that previously struggled start to flourish with minimal fertilizer input. It's nature doing the work it was designed to do. So yes, I used yogurt in my soil, and the microbes multiplied like crazy. The results? Healthier plants, richer compost, and a garden that practically sustains itself. You don't need fancy products or expensive treatments. Just a tub of plain yogurt, clean water, and a bit of consistency. Treat your soil like your gut, feed it good bacteria, and it will reward you with thriving, nutrient-rich crops, season after season. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crops Central for more practical, science-backed gardening insights. Hit the like button, share this with your fellow growers, and keep nurturing your soil, because healthy soil means healthy food, and healthy food starts with you.